Oh, wow, I am a hot mess. And I just finished Shing editing episode nine. So this is the finale. And I just re I realized as I edited, I, I hardly filmed anything the last couple of days. Yesterday, it was just miserable, run down again. And you'd think I'd have a good night's sleep, but no. And I barely got, I, I think I got five or 6,000 steps yesterday. And I barely got any this morning. Um, and I don't have time to because I have to work all the way out in West Apache and they open a little earlier and it's like a 40 minute drive too so I need to wake up I gotta be on my A game um, yeah I don't know how well steps I'm gonna have today I might have two lackluster days in a row um, and we have two more days to go bang peach mango Oh yes, we're having soup, sucralose today, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Happy Monday. I am in the gym parking lot as usual, um, getting ready to head in and meet with my personal trainer. I have a good half hour before I meet with him that I will be doing some warm up, definitely getting a few steps in, but probably the bulk of them I'll get after I finish with him. Um, I just checked the LifeWorks app and I'm within 3000 steps of Greg. That's kind of exciting way to start the last few days of this challenge. I know my goal is 450,000, but I have a feeling he and I are going to just be like, you know, we're, I think, number seven and eight on our team. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I actually really do want that number seven spot. That's my lucky number. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, that has me really motivated to get in lots of steps these next few days. So better watch out, Greg. Man, today was just a struggle. Uh, man, I just so tired. Just faked it till I made it, though. But I've had two very, very poor days of, of steps in a row. I mean, I've, I've, I've hit the step it up standard of 6,000 steps both days. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I really need to do better. Um, with lots to do, too. But uh, I need to go to bed early. I really need to recharge. Um, I don't know why I've been having such a, a tough time. One of my goals was sleep. And I've been falling on my face on it. So, um, gotta fix this. Up until two minutes ago, it was thundering lightning raining and it's still pretty dark off to the west but it stopped raining and the sun popped out for a minute so i'm wondering if i should get out there and go for a walk death wish coffee company the world's strongest whole bean coffee let's see about that cheers I like it. Mm. Well, after going on a branch visit this afternoon with JJ, I am here at Tangier Outlets. A couple um, pretty wonderful people uh, gave me gift cards to Lululemon. Um, you know, it's not a store I used to be able to shop at when I was 363 pounds. Um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, of course, recently my Fabletics are getting too big again, uh, or I'm getting too small for them. And so I wasn't sure what size I would fit into. And after some, you know, trying on some different things at Lululemon, I am comfortably in a size 14. Um, and I have two new pairs, thanks to um, two wonderful people um, that I can try out hiking tomorrow night. Um, I noticed there's a New Balance here store here too, so I'm gonna get on a few more steps uh, just checking out what inventory they have here at New Balance too. So, happy early birthday to me. Thanks. Yay, my butcher box arrived. I'm so excited. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, so unpacking what we have. All grass finished goodness. We have four New York strips. We have four ribeye. I have six frozen burger patties and four sirloin. That should be good for the month for me. Keto and carnor carnivore goodness. What a crazy night. 
So I just watched the finals game, and my home team, the Milwaukee Bucks, just won the first championship in my lifetime. The last time they won was before I was born. And um, I will say, as excited as I am, it's a little bit bittersweet because it came at the expense of the Phoenix Suns. And a lot of important people in the last five years of my life, I knew were rooting for them. And um, <laughs> I have, you know, it's not like the Suns are a huge Milwaukee rivalry or anything. I, if the Bucks were not in this game, I would have been rooting wholeheartedly for the Suns. So, um, again, it's bittersweet. Um, but I am excited. It's, it's crazy awesome. I've never been able to witness this. The Bucks in my lifetime have come so close so many times. Um, but, yeah, what a day. What a week this is going to be. Tomorrow is going to be crazy. The last day of this. And OMG, my agenda is full. Wow. Today is Karen Ricker's 40th birthday. And would you believe it's me? And I have not even really seen her in person since the start of the pandemic. But what, from what I do recall and seeing her on video now, and I'm actually, I think we're hiking together tonight, so it'll be the, a first. But she looks so much younger than she did when she was 39, so I can't tell you how proud I am of her and how amazing that is. Also, the fact that she's out there sharing her story. Um, it's awesome. We're trying to figure out what I have time to do this morning. Uh, I have so much to do. Uh, but just hitting 8 o'clock and I'm over 10,000 steps, so that's good. Um, I think I got 14,000 yesterday, for almost 15. Uh, but yeah, it's, I want to uh, do, I want to finish this with a bang because uh, two of the last three days have been poor, as I've said repeatedly. I am out stepping because, well, I didn't get in my steps this morning. And what do you know, Greg pulled 5,000 steps ahead of me. So he must have gone for a nice long walk this morning. And being that he's my main competition, go figure. Uh, I am out here getting in a couple miles, hoping I can pull up even Steven to him, or maybe even slightly ahead. Wish me luck. Well, enough time to get a haircut, have a little bit of lunch, and relax for a minute, but too much to do today. I was tasked with putting together the Olympic edition video for the Phoenix market. Um, and which I'm, I'm always welcome to do editing stuff. I, I enjoy doing it, but this is the first time, um, cause I, I only knew this needed to be done at the end of last week and all the footage was already shot. And so, um, I didn't shoot any of it and I didn't give any direction to the people who were shooting it. So, um, I don't have a vision for it yet. So the very, it's somewhat exciting of a challenge is to somehow create a vision with this footage that was given to me. But here's the rub. I have only three hours to figure this all out. Let's get to work. Marsha, say hi. <laughs> Woohoo! Here comes the leader of the pack, Miss Rebecca Volano. <laughs> She must like me. Uh, I grabbed you on that. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's the end of our little journey. Uh, we're almost, it was 25 minutes. I'm gonna leave and she's gonna watch some more. And she, this one has some news for you. <laughs> I just hit 120. Woohoo! Woo she just got on the scale and hit 120 on her 40th birthday. That was one of her goals. She hit her 450,000 steps as well, which was another one of her goals. There's nothing this lady cannot do. That's awesome. Well, yeah. except maybe beat you in steps today. Well, you still have time. I got to be driving. So, so you only have a little bit yeah, to go. Yeah, it is 8.35, so I have so 25, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, so we'll, we won't make this too long. I'll get in the car, probably going to go to Safeway and, and Get shop. some steps. <laughs> I have no idea. But, but no, this has been such a fun journey, and this is the icing on the cake that I got to actually get a hike in with, with uh, Karen and some of the other folk. Um, Don and Marsha and Rebecca were with us, and that was a 
awesome surprise to see these people in the flesh that I haven't seen for, some of them for well over a year. This one for a little bit over a year. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys so much. And awesome, awesome. Uh, State 48 Activate Step Team, you guys are all amazing. I think we had almost 40 people surpass 180,000 steps, so way to go!